but Yodel Yodel had died. I mean, he's even wearing the same outfit that the old Yodel did, but he's way better at Marshall than the last Yodel. Tell you what, Yodel Kalpishki of a Thol, I'll make you my new steward. And it jumped actually pretty high. Was that your ambition? You wanted to become the steward? Well, I'm glad to make that happen for someone who is a worthy steward. A peasant accused of murder. Um, yeah, toss him in the dungeon. As more and more people seek audience at your court, you have come to realize that there is much to do when it comes to the administration of the realm. You must work harder. And I lose the trait Slothful, which is a sucky trait, so I'm very glad to not have it. Get out of here, Slothful. I guess that does sort of make up for having to have the stressed trait. And you know what? This war is going fine, I don't need to keep these mercenaries hired, and I could really use to get some to uh, increase my income. I mean, I am still losing money steadily. I have a ton of money because of all the people that I am getting money from. Righteous Imprisonment. Touchedly of Insigal. He is my... Former, um, right, a former counselor, and he wants to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of the Isles. You know what, if you really want to claim, go for it. I don't care. I could imprison him. I mean, he does pretty much hate me a lot. So it wouldn't be bad to have him in prison. But I'm not going to bother. He's the leader of a plot I really don't care about. If he gets a claim on my title, honestly, what the hell is he going to do with it? I mean, seriously. What's he going to do with something like that? And oh my god, I just realized, after I got Kanat, I forgot to divvy up the titles. So, first of all, let's get ourselves a new rabbi and a new mayor. Come on, a new mayor. And I need to give it to someone good, the main title, that is. So, well, let's check the council. Is there any other council position that could use an upgrade? Um, I could use a better chancellor and a better spy master, so... Male. Not a ruler. My religion and my culture. Let's look for a good steward. So the Tazam Panson, steward of Insigal, and not ambitious, I think you would make a good Count of Kanat. So I'm going to give you Kanat. You cannot go wrong with this. And... See if you can breed before you die. You are pretty old, but you seem to be in relatively good health, so... Yeah. So how does go the war? So, I get 4% from battles. Don't get very much from battles, then and not very much from occupation. This war is probably going to take a while. And you know what? Yeah, I think I should uh, dismiss the Irish band. I mean, you know, they will be there again when I need them in the future. At the moment, though, I think I'll see about enjoying positive income. Because now, hold it, something's wrong. 
something's wrong. It's... Well, the display hasn't adjusted yet, but I am gaining money now. So... Um... Whatever. Oh, look at that! Because I dismissed... My, uh, mercenaries... Now, there is a dangerous faction. One of the faction leaders... is a Viking. And the other one... is a different Viking. Well, okay, can we kill... Jarl Carl of Dublin? Because his death wouldn't cause... Well, actually, her death also wouldn't cause the, uh... the two kingdoms to, uh, join. Okay, so let's see about killing Jarl Carl here. And auto-invite plotters. Come on, I need a ton of people to join this plot. That guy needs to die! He really does. And everyone joins because we all hate the Vikings. Huh. My notifications close on their own. I didn't know they did that. Well, whatever, it's not a big a deal. Okay, can I ransom a prisoner to back to Renault Clut? We've got two children... ...who appear to be lowborn children. I don't know what he wants for them. Or, rather, why he wants them. But... Yeah, I'll get a bit extra money. My co-conspirator, Kelpishki Maxtla, Ma Kelpishki Mashtla, has assembled a party of mercenaries. Ah, this one again. Yeah, trying to uh, raiders. They're going after Norfolk. Oh, you don't like me, do you, Ronald Clut? And it looks like as soon as the raiders arrive, they're leaving too. Which is funny. Guess there's nothing to raid down here in shit area. Still no spreading of Jewish Aztec culture, which I guess is fine. I guess. So yeah. You know, it's always, uh... Tricky trying to pronounce words in uh, Nahuatl. And what you kind of need to remember... Yeah, I know you don't like me, but I like your money. And one thing you kind of need to remember is that when the language... When the Nahuatl language was first Romanized, it was done so by the Spanish. So it will carry Spanish pronunciations. For instance, in Spanish, the letter H is always silent. When you put U before another vowel, it's pronounced like a W. QUs are always pronounced like Ks. Now, the X here is a bit weird. Uh, particularly in the Spanish language, the way X is supposed to be pronounced is how it's pronounced in English, you know. X. The mercenaries ambushed the carriage of Carl and made short work of him. The dri they let the driver go, and he is convinced the attack was carried out by highwaymen. Funny how many highwaymen seem to be killing Vikings in this country. Well, that faction is no longer dangerous. Now, X in Nahuatl is kind of special because whenever the Spanish encountered a... Pr because the Spanish language uses a phonetic alphabet, which means every letter has a specific sound 
for specific situations. It's not in English, where G usually has a soft J sound when followed by an E, but the word get still exists. Now, in Spanish, unless it's a straight-up loan word, you can always know how it's pronounced by how it's spelled, because each letter has a very specific pronunciation attached to it. However, that means that there's only a limited amount of pronunciations possible in the Spanish language, and there are some pronunciations in Mesoamerican languages that were not possible with the regular Spanish alphabet, which m means when the conquistadors tried to transliterate the languages they encountered, they had no idea what letter to put in for the SH sound. So, they just wrote an X. So, for the most part, whenever you see an X, uh, written in Mesoamerican languages, it's usually some odd pronunciation. Oftentimes it's an SH sound. Of course, in Spanish, because H's are always silent, SH just sounds like S. And I don't think it ever appears any time in the Spanish language. It's, it's, it's really weird. So yeah, take for instance Mexico. Now the word Mexico is actually kind of weird because it breaks those rules. Mexicans generally pronounce the name of their country Mexico, giving an H sound to the X, even though there's no precedent for that in any language. The original word was Mexico. I don't know how it became Mexico. Though I always find it funny to use that fact to correct it whenever a Mexican tries to correct an American on their pronunciation of Mexico. I... I like correcting people. That's sort of my thing. Well, we're up to 604 prestige now, so we could initiate another invasion. Obviously, I want to finish up the invasion of Strathclyde before I do anything else, but... Oh, hello. What's this? Who are these guys? Allies of yours, Renault Clut? They come from one of the Irish counties, and they... Yes, they are uh, Renault Clut's allies. Well, if I could defeat Renault Clut's allies, in battle... That might give me enough war score to put him over the edge. But anyways, it looks like I am about out of time for today's session. So, until next time, I am Lord Ravenork. This has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye!